Hello Church, I'm very encouraged this morning after what happened yesterday and the way that the Lord met with many of us, myself included, um, and uh, for the journey that lies ahead for our following of Jesus. If you did miss the message, please make sure to catch up either via YouTube or via any podcast site. The sermon's always on there. Please make sure to catch up whenever you miss any of it, um, any of our sermons any of the services as from now on we'll make sure that we only miss them um, when jesus leads us elsewhere but when you do miss them remember this is your local body this is where god planned for you to be fed um, and for you to run from um, and to so please make sure to not miss um, what the lord is doing among us so for those of you who did um, have an encounter with the lord there was quite a few of us um, we sometimes have encounters like that and we make decisions before the Lord and surrender our lives. But then the next day you kind of continue with life again. And it's really hard to reconcile what happened yesterday with what you need to do right now. So I want to just give you a couple of tools and tips. Number one, um, watch the sermon again or listen to it again and make notes so that the, sp the Spirit can remind you of what He has convicted you of and the things that He revealed to you. So may have a notepad and a pen with you listen to it again and make notes and then afterwards you pray through that number one number two abide 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 in him um, and specifically go to your calendar right now and slot out a, a time slot where in your diary over the next week what you would you would you would have two or three hours allocated to dealing with what the lord has done if we don't have a habit of doing that then the lord will always do things and then it'll fade away and in essence we're just we're just not taking hold of the things that he has done so don't let that happen that's your responsibility to do that so go to your calendar right now pause the video get a time slot and work through the notes that you are going to make or have already made number three we read in uh, 1 corinthians 14 that Paul says, um, you know, Paul was arguably the greatest Christian example that we have apart from Jesus. And uh, Paul said that he prays in tongues more than anyone else. And he also says that when we do pray in tongues, we build ourselves up. Um, in Jude verse 20, we read that we should pray in the Holy Spirit. We, we should build up our, um, our innermost faith by praying in the Holy Spirit. All right. So our spirit man gets strengthened. It's like spiritual gym when we do pray in tongues. And many of you have received your um, tongue and uh, sometimes we just neglect that. So I want to really encourage you to start praying in it more. I've seen great results just in my own life by picking up that habit that I used to have again. And when you see me walking on the promenade like a crazy person that uh, seems to be talking to themselves that's me doing some spiritual gym work and i encourage you to do the same so that your the the resolutions you make in your spirit the things that you want um to be real your love for the lord your devotion to him um that those things that happens in your spirit that your spirit would be strong enough to overpower the soul and the flesh so that you can walk in the fullness of the will of God. So strengthen your spirit like that so that it can overcome and accomplish what the Lord wants. Um, those are three uh, tips. I hope they help. Have a blessed week. I'm going to pray over us just quickly. Father, I thank you for what you have done. I thank you that I can pray a protection over the seed that was sown into our hearts and whatever you did in every heart, Lord. And this is my prayer, Lord, that there would be nothing else that leads us beside you. You who lead us beside still waters for your name's sake. Amen.